a structured approach to causality and perception. Time is a parameter in four-dimensional Cartesian constraint space. A treatise on temporal constraints, reinterpreting measurement choices as relational transformation, and exploring measurement, time, and non-locality, while refining the perspective on homogeneity, inhomogeneity, and the non-linear emergent nature of time. This treatise explores time as a parameter within four-dimensional Cartesian constraint space, redefining its relationship with causality, perception, and spatial structure. Unlike traditional homogeneous models of space-time, this approach considers time as an emergent, inhomogeneous parameter, shaped by localized constraints, matter-energy distributions, and cognitive interactions. By embedding time within lower-dimensional causal structures, we propose that causal resolution is not an instantaneous event, but a structured transformation within a non-linearly evolving relational field. This approach reinterprets measurement choices not as external influences on independent systems, but as part of a constraint-based resolution process, where observer-dependent constraints determine how energy states resolve within encoded causal structures. Through this lens, time is neither a linear background nor an absolute continuum, but an emergent property shaped by structured relational interactions. Introduction the structured nature of time in four-dimensional constraint space. Traditional physics often conceptualizes time as a continuous homogeneous dimension, independent of the spatial structures it interacts with. However, relational physics and perception theory suggest that time is not fundamental, but constraint-driven, shaped by the encoding of causal interactions within spatial frameworks. This treatise proposes a model in which time does not evolve as an independent coordinate, but resolves as a structured process. Shaped by inhomogeneous constraints, feedback systems, and non-linearly distributed causal relations. Unlike classical Newtonian or relativistic approaches, which treat time as a fixed coordinate, this framework presents time as an emergent consequence of interactions within lower dimensional causal hierarchies. The central claims of this approach are that time is not a spatial dimension, but an emergent constraint-driven parameter. It does not evolve infinitely, but resolves through encoded causal structures, and its perception is shaped by inhomogeneous, relational constraints, rather than universal flow. By moving away from a continuous external model of time toward a structured, constraint-based framework, we redefine time not as a medium, but as an encoded property of structured causality. Time as a constraint-driven parameter, not a spatial dimension. Traditional models often treat time as a linear, absolute continuum flowing independently of matter and interactions. In contrast, our constraint-driven model suggests that time emerges relationally within structured causal systems, where its evolution is shaped by spatially encoded influences rather than a global background flow. In this framework, time is not an independent, infinite continuum, but a structured resolution process, governed by spatially encoded constraints and shaped by interactions rather than existing as an absolute entity. A key distinction in this approach is between homogeneous and inhomogeneous time. Homogeneous time assumes a smooth, continuous universal progression, whereas inhomogeneous time recognizes that time does not pass uniformly, but instead evolves through encoded causal variations. In four-dimensional constraint space, time progresses non-uniformly, influenced by localized spatial structures and interaction-dependent encoding. This inhomogeneous structure means time perception is not a passive experience, but an emergent property of constraint-based resolution. Lower dimensional temporal structures, a hierarchy of causal influence. Time does not unfold linearly and independently, but is structured into multi-layered constraint-based hierarchies. At the one-dimensional level, time appears as a linear sequence, where events occur in a strict past-to-future progression governed by cause and effect. At the two-dimensional level, time takes on a more complex, layered structure, where feedback loops and interactive dependencies create a multi-directional causal web. At the three-dimensional level, time is integrated into structured cognitive and perceptual fields, allowing for memory encoding, contextual interpretation, and structured reflection. Time ceases to be merely a coordinate for events, 
and instead becomes an embedded component of how information is stored, retrieved, and processed. Finally, at the four-dimensional level, time resolves as an asymptotic evolution of structured causality, where constraint-driven transformations determine how reality is perceived over time. Rather than a fixed flow, time becomes a system of encoded variations, where inhomogeneities in causal structure create differences in temporal resolution. Observer perception of time, structured experience, not passive flow. If time is inhomogeneous and constraint-driven, then observers do not passively move through time, but experience it as structured resolution. Unlike classical interpretations, where time is an absolute external medium, this model proposes that time perception is not passive, but emerges through encoded causal interactions. Observations construct a resolved representation of external reality, structured by encoded causal and spatial constraints, allowing for both direct recordings of external reality and additional constraint-dependent transformations. Decision-making occurs within structured causal progressions rather than absolute timelines, and observations do not replace external reality, but instead represent an encoded resolution of it. Temporal variations are not anomalies, but structured phenomena, emerging as a function of constraint-driven time resolution. These fluctuations in time perception, non-linear entanglement effects, and variations in causal encoding are not deviations from a true timeline, but rather essential features of emergent structured causality. Measurement as Relational Transformation in Quantum Systems the act of measurement is not an external action on an independent system, but a resolution process in which the observer's spatial and causal constraints shape the final perceived state. This means that the observed energy shift is not an external transmission of influence, but an adaptive transformation within a structured relational field. If time were homogeneous and linear, measurement in quantum entanglement would imply instantaneous transmission of influence. However, in an inhomogeneous nonlinear background, measurement instead resolves within encoded structures, meaning energy does not transfer, but relationally reconfigures within spatial constraints. Conclusion, time as a structured resolution, not an absolute flow. This approach moves beyond traditional homogeneous space-time models, proposing a structured relational model of time evolution, where time is not an external medium, but emerges through encoded constraints. Temporal perception is shaped by spatial, cognitive, and causal limitations, and non-locality in quantum systems is not instantaneity, but structured relational resolution. This redefines causality, perception, and non-locality, framing them as constraint-based resolutions rather than independent phenomena. Implications and future considerations. This model suggests that time-dependent systems should be studied as structured constraints rather than linear progressions. Future inquiries may explore how constraint-based temporal structures apply to cognition, artificial intelligence and perception theory, and how spatial constraints influence causal encoding in advanced physics and quantum mechanics. By shifting from an absolute model of time to a structured, constraint-driven process, we move toward a new paradigm of perception, causality, and temporal resolution.